it's me, Vicki, back again, my little brand muffins. And I'm here to share this time some products that I picked up from Paper Issues on Etsy and Two Peas in a Bucket. So this time from Cassie, all I picked up, just a few little items. I got this washi tape. Um, now remember, Paper Issues on Etsy. I could not give her a bigger thumbs up. If if one to five stars, five is best, I'm going to give her six stars. I love Cassie and Paper Issues. She always ships quickly. She has good deals. And I don't know if this sale is still good, but if you type in CHA30, 30% 30 off your total purchase. Anyway, I picked up that. I picked up this. I picked up that. But, but there's not much on here at all. The circle is very big, and there's just a little washi on there. But I, I don't really care. I think that was only like 2 or $3 with 30% off. and It'll probably last me for a while. And look at this little roadway. I've been eyeballing that for months. And then, of course, it's Christmas time, so I have to have red and white. And I got some red and white stars, uh, hearts, uh, now to give you an idea. And there you go. Red and white dots and red and white stripes. And in case you're wondering, because I was, I had to take a chance... They are the same shade of red, close enough that if you wanted to use all three on a card or layout or a tag, it's going to work. And then, let me just show you in case. Not such the great deal on that one. Okay. And I thought for that yellow star washi, this would be awfully cute. So, you know, does that bother anybody a little bit that the first time they put these out, it was filled on both sides for $3.99, and now it's only filled on one side for $3.99? I mean, I don't think that we needed uh, two sides of stars, but what would have been nice is if Studio Calico would have taken this down from like $3.99 to even two forty nine, dollars Not even a full half price, but, yeah. Oh, well. I like Studio Calico. You know, it's it's not but maybe a two-hour drive from my home, the warehouse is. So, it's a, I guess it's a Kentucky girl who owns and created Studio Calico. So, so close to Ohio, I got a supporter. I picked up some uh, Peapod Green Twine and some Maraschino Cherry Twine from the Twinery, but I bought it on eBay. No, no. Etsy. And I could not tell you who I got this from, but I don't feel like I need 600 yards of twine, so I just needed a little... So, I got both of these for way less than I'd have ever paid for one bolt of twine from the twinery. Okay, guys, my next part of this order is from Two Peas in a Bucket. I have things from Ormalu, KI Memories, Studio Calico. I got some paper, the new stuff from Bow Bunny. So, stick with me here. I got something to say. I ordered some of that vellum paper that has the big gold dots on it from Two Peas. And it wasn't in my package. When I first opened up my package and I was looking through it, I was like, oh, cute, 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 nice. But then I was laying here watching TV last night and it dawned on me out of nowhere, hey, I didn't get that American Crafts vellum with the gold dots. And sure enough, I went back through my papers and it was not in there. So then I thought, okay, well, maybe 
I didn't buy it because I, I put so many things in my cart. Then I take it out of my cart. I order three things, but before I really make the purchase, I get one. I can't keep up with what I've really ordered or not most of the time. I go to check, and sure enough, I had been charged for it. So then I'm thinking, oh, I hope they didn't give me a credit for it, and it's sold out. So I get on the 2P's website, I check it out, and it is not sold out, and they had not given me a credit. So they simply forgot to pack it. I cannot complain. As many times as I shop at 2P's in a bucket, good grief. If they make a mistake here and there, they're only human. But here's why I'm saying this. Check your orders. Really, I know it's time-consuming, I need to practice what I preach, but after checking my other orders, I realized I was shorted a couple of other one sheet of cardstock. I, I didn't want to call up and say, hey, back in September on the 11th, you didn't send me my pink paisley whatever. I just want my gold dotted vellum. And I really wanted it this weekend to start my Christmas cards. But, you know, heck, again, I shouldn't complain because I want my items the minute I hit send on the computer. And I do always purchase that option that 2Ps gives you. If you want us to pack your stuff quicker, we'll do it for 2 to 4 bucks. I always pay that. I'm not happy about paying it, but I do. And the way I see it is I think they should be packing things to get it out of the warehouse as quick as possible for their customers. And you shouldn't have to pay extra for quick, prompt service. However, here's what I tell myself. That 2 to $4 I pay helps to support the many tutorial videos that two peas does for us. I would be lost without Shamel Lane or uh, Making Memories Monday, Shannon Tisdale and Nicole McCorick. I haven't seen her in a while and I'm hoping, I know she has kids and she doesn't work as much in the summer so I'm hoping she comes back. Anyway, I be loving my garden girls and if I have to pay two or four bucks in order to support them, I'll do that. In fact, if I ever win the lottery, Chanel, Shannon, Kitty, don't worry. I'll take care of you. As long as y'all keep doing videos, I'll pay the bills. <laughs> I'm going to do so many things when I win that lottery. Anyway, I don't mind paying. That's what I tell myself. I would be upset if I was paying that 2 to $4 for them to work quick and promptly. But since I tell myself, listen, that pays for those videos, I feel better about it. I trick myself. I, I'm sure they're busy and everything, but gosh darn it, I really wanted my vellum. Here's my point. Check your order slips, girls. Anytime you order more than a couple of items, make sure you go back and go over your invoice. Anyway, here is my haul from Two Peas in a Bucket. I've been on a flare kick, and these flares are from Ormalu. How cute are they? They're clocks, and I guess the name is Bungalow. I also picked up the stamp set from KI Memories. It's from the Flashback Collection, which I am loving. And up there it says Once Upon a Time. That's what it looks like. $9.99. And then that doesn't even count your customer service rewards. I'll stamp those out for you too, gals. I got those wood veneer tabs. I got this little doodle pop for like a dollar four. They're on sale. And these are from KI Memories. Okay. And it's from the uh, flashback collection. Oh, here we go. And there's two sides to it too. 
Can I do anything right today? I don't think I can. And it's a glitter, and it does look like it sheds a little bit, because I can see glitter floating around in there. And that this is the exact same thing in white, which you're probably not going to be able to see. But that's the Flashback Collection by KI Memories. I picked up these little Maya Road house paper clips, and I wish I wouldn't because they're, I can't get them on the paper so that this whole thing shows. Oh, I just figured it out. Never mind. Well, I thought I had it figured out, but I just tried it, and it still doesn't work. So, huh. Yeah, I could live without these. So, I'm not recommending them. The rest will be paper and stickers. And this is from Pebbles. And this is from the Sunnyside Collection. The reason I bought this odd piece of paper is because I'm always on the hunt for, like, real navy blue paper. And this is very pretty. Clouds and navy blue. I wished I would have got more of this. It's from the Persnickety Collection by Lily B. Design. And this is called Uppity. And again, I wish I would have got several pieces of this because I'm loving it. The chevron, I love both sides. And isn't that going to match this? I mean, look at the navy blues in this. It's the Woodland Park alphabet sticker sheet. Look at the three. and the, So cute. It's going to look so good with that. And this is more from Lily B, the Persnickety Collection. That side's not bad, but I bought it for this side. I'll have to go back for more of it. Now, it is way too early for Valentine's Day, but I don't think that this is going to be, you know, like only for Valentine cards. But how cute is this? It's the Bo Bunny Love Letters line, and this is called Stripe. Look at the flip side. Too cute, and I'll be having to get more of that. More of the Bo Bunny line. How cute is this? I hope you can see those. Yeah, you can. And this is called what? Keys. Uh, kind of like both sides of this, too. I had to get this calendar paper. It's from the snap line. Look at the A's or at signs. Here's the bottom. Very cute. And on the flip side is a multicolored polka dot. I think this is so cute. This is by Simple Stories and it's called the Snap calendar. Oh, if you are sitting on the fence and undecided whether to buy the Doodle Bug North Pole Collection, let me tell you something. It is adorable. Go on and hit send and buy it. It is so much cuter in person. I've had this in my car for the past three weeks. I find I'm buying too much Christmas paper again because I'm trying to wait on October Afternoons line. Uh, Marion Bright, I think it's called. I'm not sure. And then they have Farm Girl. That's coming out. So I, I plan to be broke for quite some time. But but I'll have paper. I wonder what designer paper tastes like with lettuce and mayonnaise on it. Because I might be eating my paper. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm teasing and I shouldn't. Anyway, while we're talking about October afternoon, I have to put a disclaimer in here. If you follow my videos, a few videos ago, I complained because October afternoon is always so late on getting their collections out. Listen, I've been waiting on that Christmas collection since Cha in the summer. 
and that farm girl collection. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to put cowboy boots and a cowboy hat on to have pictures taken just so I can use the farm girl collection. But anyway, I was saying how slow they are and it's starting to get annoying. It is annoying. And here's why it's annoying. Because I love, love, love October afternoon. There's something magical about it. Sometimes I look at their collection and I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. But I still buy it. Well, Bonnie, who is Mr. Chocho Mama here on YouTube. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Chocho. She had emailed me or private messaged me about something. And she was like, listen, I, I don't know if you know this, but... She took a class at the Mall of America's Scraparama with October Afternoon. And she said the instructor was telling the class they actually pay stay-at-home moms, housewives, people who are disabled, senior citizens. They pay them to do work at home. I guess they try to employ people who may otherwise struggle to find employment for many reasons. So, I'm not aggravated. Because you're such a good, caring, United States-based company trying to put people to work, trying to let moms and people who have to stay at home earn an income, listen, I'll wait till December 23rd for my Christmas paper. I mean, heck, most of my pictures aren't going to be scrapped until December 26th and afterwards anyway, right? So, what's the big hurry, Vicky? Settle down. It'll be here when it gets here. So, October afternoon, if you're watching this video with Tim Holtz and, <laughs> and Teresa Collins and Studio Calico over at Anna Griffin's house. If you're all together watching my videos, which I'm sure you are, I'm sorry. Take your time. And most important, keep doing what you're doing. That's probably why you're so successful, is because you're doing the right thing. Boy, I am on my soapbox today, aren't I? I'm actually a little crabby today. I think I'm getting a cold, and I hope not, because when you're old, colds, flu, viruses stick with you longer than they do when you're 20, 30, heck, even 40. But you know how sometimes you just feel it in your chest? That's what's happening. But my husband, some hot shot, made homemade vegetable soup yesterday. And I'll tell you what, that is the best homemade vegetable soup in the whole wide universe. So I'm going to eat a lot of fresh veggies. And once I do, my vitamin C is going to go up, 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 up. And I'm not going to get the flu. My mouth to God's ears. Okay. The Doodle Bug set. Uh, this is the North Pole Collection Doodle Bug. Oh, I'm loving it. So cute. And that is called Jolly Lollies. And look at this one. Look at the little reindeer. And I love frames. And look at the little girl reindeer there. Very cute. Little snowman. And this is the flip side. And it is called Festive Frames. Cute. Oh, and look what... I love how they did that at the bottom. They put the little blocks of each pattern. This is called Holly Days. And it's just a great jadeite green and like a tomato red. Kind of like the Anna Griffin Twinkle Bright collection from last year. 
This one is called Holiday Lane. Cute. I almost didn't buy this one. I'm glad I did now. How cute is this? Look at the little snowman. And this is Frosty Friends. And that's the flip side. Adorable. I like this whimsy green and red. And this is called Playful Pines. And whimsical Christmas trees. How cute is that going to be with our Studio Calico wood veneers? This is called North Pole. And look at that. Look at the little snowman there. I mean, this is going to be cute with your, uh, oh, Jolly Holly, Holly Jolly. What's that one cricket cartridge that's so cute? I wanted that thing for years, and then all of a sudden, I mean, they had it on eBay, and it was like 70 and $80, but then it dropped down to 30 and all of a sudden, there were hundreds. I think it's Jolly Holly Jolly. Anyway, that cartridge would be so cute with this. And I have to say this. I forget who it is. I will go back through my videos and try to find her channel name. But there's a young lady on here who does scrapbook layouts. And she said, you know, people show their haul videos and what they've bought. And she said, but what are you going to do with that stuff? So she went through her whole haul video and everything she would say, here's what I'm thinking about doing with this. Here's what we should do with that. And I'm going to try to find that video. And if I do, I'll either put her name on the screen here or I'll put a link to her channel down below. But I really like that idea. And then there was another young woman. Now, well, I don't know if she was young or not. Why do I say that? Um, let me see if I can find her name. Oh, darn it. Okay, I, I know I wrote it down, but I forget where. Anyway, I will put it on the screen here or down below. One of my subscribers left me a comment and when I was talking about those little round snap uh, cardstock stickers from the snap collection, in the comment box she put, you know, Vicki, what would be a good idea is if you put glossy accents on it, then it would really look like a flare button. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you for saying that. I didn't even think of that. I think I'm going to try talk about ideas and here's what we could do with this and I wish you guys would do that too. I know we all worry about is this video too long and so I know that's a factor. Sometimes it's all we can do to get our items on film and uploaded without going into a one hour long video and Heaven knows I'm the queen on long videos. I just can't make them short. But hopefully, if you watch my video, maybe you save mine until later when you have 20 or 30 minutes. Or maybe you watch mine in two parts. Maybe you only watch 10 minutes of my video. That's okay. I know I, myself, if I find someone interesting if we have something in common I can watch your video for 30 minutes no problem heck I could listen if I can watch the housewives of Atlanta and New York and New Jersey for an hour I can surely watch you guys for an hour I used to love to watch the HSN and QVC scrap fairs when they would have them on for like 24 or 48 hours straight. Honey, I would drink coffee till it was coming out my eyeballs so I could stay awake. I used to take off of work. I'd use a vacation day if I knew a scrap fair 
was coming on QVC. Listen, I felt like buying a new outfit because it was a highlight of my year to watch those things. So I love long videos, but I know some of you have kids and jobs and houses and I've got extra time now. My kids are raised and you guys know Nady went off to school this year. So I do have free time, even though, I, you know, I'm not raising kids and I don't pamper my husband like I used to wait on him hand and foot like I used to. Listen, sometimes I don't have 40 minutes to sit down and do whatever I want to do. So I totally understand if you feel my videos are too long or you prefer a short video. But on the same hand, I would love to hear your ideas and what you're thinking about when you buy these products. And I just hope if you want to do a long video or if you have more things to say and to talk about, I hope you don't hurry. Make two or three videos or make a long one. I know it's a pain in the neck sometimes to upload a long video. We have fiber optic internet service now and my upload time has been cut down more than half. It used to take me four hours, four to five hours to upload a 20-minute video, and now I can upload a 30-minute video in about an hour. So that, that helps a lot. But anyway, I just always see some of my favorite YouTubers, and they go, I'm sorry for rambling, or they go, oh, I'm so sorry because this video is 15 minutes, and I'm like, please don't be sorry. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. But I guess... You don't want just one subscriber, me. <laughs> Here, I'll be happy as a lark, you know, watching your hour-long videos, but you'll have like three subscribers. There you go. And, and I'll leave those names. I just thought that was such a good idea what that young lady did. Okay, so that's called the North Pole. This is so pretty in person. Now, it's showing a... Here. Hang on. There you go. It was showing the other side, which is chevron. This is just a beautiful red. And cute. Cute as can be. If you get that collection, you've got to have the stickers. Because they're cute as can be, too. Look at the little Rudolph. And, and the little sign. I'm going to try to make a sign like that using my Cricut. Look at the, can you see the uh, snowman? Adorable. Do you all remember there were some stamps at Michael's, like in the dollar bin last year? And if I'm not mistaken, they almost look like these reindeer. Reindeers. <laughs> Inside joke reindeer. Look at the little squirrel. Adorable. I hesitated about buying these. The little pennant stickers with the alphabet. But I'm glad I did. And I think it was $1.50 or $1.99. Cute. I also went on and picked up these uh, basic gray I don't know if this is like micro mono or what, but this will give you an idea of the size. My fingernail there. They're small. I had some problems with the E on my white basic gray alphabet stickers. I hope that was just a one-time problem because I really like the size of these, but had I used that white font before I ordered this, I would not have ordered this. So, I don't know. Oh, it looks like these are okay. And I also picked up the green ones. And look at this. How cute, cute, cute. 
stickers. Very nice cardstock. Nice weight. Adorable line. I'm loving it. I'm thinking now I gotta buy my grandson some kind of jadeite green shirt for Christmas. Oh, and wait until you see my new Christmas hat for my grandson and or myself. I'll have to share it in one of the videos, but I just went on and picked up this uh, Woodland Park Blue Sky flip side. I'll go fast because you guys have probably seen these already. Woodland Park. And this is called Birch Hollow. I got it for this side. It almost looks like pencil lines or something. A blackish gray or charcoal gray. Woodland Park. Old Mill Bridge. And this has to be the, you know I love navy blue, but this is horrid. Horrid paper. Oh well. Who cares? It's October afternoon. This is Rose Garden, and I got it for this side. This is some of my all-time favorite paper ever. And it's On the Sunny Side by My Mind's Eye. And this is called Simple Stripe. I just love the blend of the yellow and the orange. I picked this up. It's Studio Calico uh, die cut. And it was $0.32. Cents. They still had some left. I picked up a couple of more pieces of these Ready, Set, Go by American Crafts and Amy Tangerine. What's the name of this? Surrounded. I think this is just going to be great to cut out and as a background. I already shared this, but I picked up another one. Ready, set, go. Get cozy. And here's why. I bought it initially for this side, but when I got it, this side was so cute. And look at the little bottom. I picked up this uh, cardstock for background. Very textured. This is American Craft Oatmeal. And I think I got it for 40 cents a sheet. Isn't this cute? It's crepe paper. And it's the Acorn... What? Acorn Avenue. This side isn't bad either. But I thought this was just cute. It almost looks like, you know... Well, it looks exactly like a library book that's been checked out a million times. I picked up the list, official naughty and nice list. Look at this. They have little names all down the side. And then naughty, nice, check twice. And received. How cute, huh? I wish I would have got a couple of these. But, you know, if I do one 12 by 12 layout, using this as the background, do you need more? And this is crepe paper. This is called Jingle Bells. This is cute, too, though. Again, I had to buy this. Initially bought it for this side, but I thought that other side, the map was so cute. And this is called Blue Christmas by a uh, crepe paper sleigh bells collection sleigh ride this is a studio calico wonderland collection look at santa very 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 cute pretty and this is from uh ki memories it's the flashed back uh, collection and it is a transparency and it looks like it was done in conjunction with Hamilton or uh, Hampton art very cute look how cute it'll look with the washi tape the washi tape is the same color as the little jewels on here you know I just figured out how to make these on my Cricut but I had to buy these. They were so cute. With the little words in there. Which we could do with our Cricut and our Gypsy. 
four by six would go in there. I don't know if I'll cut these up or just leave it all together for one layout. Again, this is the KI Memory Collection Flashback, and it is called Insta Frames. Although this is very cute, I could have lived without it. It's from the Flashback Collection, and it is called Film Strips, and that's exactly what it is. Looks like a bunch of film strips. It was only $1.99, so... It's worth it. I don't know what I'll do with this. You guys have any ideas? I mean, I was thinking, of course, you know, you go to, you know, putting individual pictures throughout and maybe put picture, embellishment, some a word, some journaling, a button. But tell me what you guys think. And ta-da-da-da, I'm done. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody on the East Coast there is safe and warm. And thanks so much for leaving the nice comments you do. And I will see you all soon. Have a great weekend. It's Thursday, so Friday and Saturday are right around the corner. Bye.